Okay, NJRoot22.com here with our latest cheap wine reviews uh, video vlog. Today I'm going to talk about, real quick, this, I'm going to try and make this two minutes or three. We'll see what happens. We're going to talk about Rex Goliath. Free Range Red in partic particular. We used to like this wine a lot because it, it, it passed the two bottle test every single time. No bad hangover, no no issues. But see, the problem with Rex Goliath, and this is what you need to understand, Rex Goliath doesn't have a year. There's no vintage, there's nothing like that going on, okay? Um, but what you need to watch out for, and I hope this comes out, is, is the alcohol percentage. There's somewhere over here. This, this one happens to be 13 and a half percent. And I think a couple years ago, it might've been 13.8 or 13.9. Something's happened to this wine. You gotta pay attention because they all, the latest batch of this free range red in most locations is at 13.0%. And so this, I found one today that was 13.5 and I snatched it up. Um, the, something happened. The 13.5 was fine. And then when I started drinking the 13.0, I'm like, wow, I feel like utter garbage the next day at two bottles. So it's, they did something to it. They added something or took something away. It's not the same wine. And then there's nothing to be said. There's no history lesson you need to know about this wine. It's just a cheap wine. Who gives a crap how it was made or whatever. But what I care about is how do I feel the next day after two bottles or a 1.5, 1500 milliliters. Anyway, the cheap, that's the cheap wine uh, tidbit for today. Pay attention to the alcohol percentage because it's not the same thing. It's not as good. Um, I just, I just, I'm angry because this was my go-to wine, 10.99 for 1.5. Some places, uh, like Shoprite Liquors, has it for 10.09, and they don't have the 13.5. I found this 13.5 at a, one of the Bourbon Streets around here, and I, I it's 10.99 there. It's a little bit more. I think uh, Wegmans now charges $11.99 for it. So the, the price has been going up and down. But the third, if you can find yourself a free range red at 13.5, pick it up because it's a lot better in our opinion um, from the hangover perspective and then from the taste perspective too. I think it actually is a little bit uh, more rounded if you want to say. The, the, I can't remember what the 13.0 was. There was something different about it. It was either more fruity or something, something that tastes like candy, I, I can't recall. So that's the tip for today. I think I went uh, three minutes on this bad boy. But uh, that's that's something something to, to be aware of when you when you shop for this little uh, bottle of wine. And, and don't 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 like look at these stupid gold. Who cares? It's it's you should have your own rating. And that's it.